and today's yoga practice is focusing on the ninth yoga principle, which is to believe in something bigger. So when I think of this yoga principle, I always practice it like I'm thinking about my connection to all things, connection to nature, to animals, to people, right? So when we think of this connection, you might imagine something like this paper, right? It's just a, a blank sheet of paper. But if we just think about, oh, I'm connected to the paper because I'm looking at it and I'm holding it, but there's so much more than just that connection. I can go all the way back and thinking about when this paper was a part of a tree and that tree was grown from sunlight and from rain, right? And then somebody helped to chop down the tree to be able to create paper out of it. And then it, the tree was taken somewhere so that it could be turned into paper and then it was brought to a store to be sold, right? To the employees that sold the paper. And now we're all looking at the paper and thinking about the paper. So we're connected to the paper, right? So that's just an example. You can think about then afterwards, this paper could be recycled and become something new and different, right? So we can think about connection to things like that, like bigger than just the connection we have with something that we see or we feel, but that there's so much more that we're connected with because of it. So it's just cool to think about. So you can think about anything that you can connect to, any um, items, things you see outside or inside your home, and just find those connections. Okay, so for our yoga today, we are doing a yoga camping adventure, but before we do that, I want us to get into some mindful movement. So it's going to be kind of like our, our minute meditation practice, our mindful minute, but it's going to be focused on mindful steps. So this is how it's going to work. We're going to imagine we're taking like a gentle walk in the woods, since we're doing a camping adventure today. And each time we step, I want you to really focus on your feet and your legs and feeling that. So normally when we're sitting and practicing breathing, we focus on the feeling of our breath. But today we're going to be practicing mindful walking. So I want you to focus your attention on your feet and your legs. This also helps our brain be able to focus better because you are focusing your attention on one thing, right? On walking. So this is what we'll do is if you are on a yoga mat, you can stand at one end. If you don't have a yoga mat or a towel, then you can just kind of take up the same amount of space as you walk. So we'll walk from one end to the other really slowly, like slow motion steps, okay? You'll listen for the bell, and that's when we'll start. And then you'll listen for the bell, and that's when we're, we'll end. So when you're standing, go ahead and stand up. And you want to have a little slight bend in your knees, let your muscles just relax, and then start to pay attention to your feet. Feel all four corners of your feet really pressing into your mat. Okay, when you hear the bell, we're going to start walking. Keep your gaze down towards the mat. That'll just help you concentrate better. And just focus on this like gentle little steps, lifting like slow motion. Okay? All right, starting at the back edge of my mat. See if you can pay attention to all the parts of your feet, the heel of your foot and the ball of your foot. When you get to the end, you want to just turn around gently, take a deep breath before you go back in the opposite direction. See if you can really feel your legs as you move your leg forward, set it down. Lift it up, move it forward, set it down. Focus on those steps. Wherever you are, pause and come have a seat in easy pose. Nice job. So again, that mindful walking also helped with your concentration skills, okay? So that's just another way to practice focusing and being mindful is every time you take a step, you can focus on the bottom of your feet. All right, so we're going to, we're going to do some camping yoga today. Let me get my background music ready. All right, so we're going to practice our yoga principle of really connecting with nature.
armchair animal and we're going to take an imaginary yoga camping trip. So first let's start with a breathing exercise. I'm calling this the roasted marshmallow breath. So imagine that you were roasting a marshmallow over a fire and then your marshmallow kind of caught a flame and it's really getting crispy. So when we breathe in for this exercise, we're sitting up nice and tall. And then when we breathe out of our mouth, we're gonna blow that fire off of our roasted marshmallow so that we can eat it, okay? So sitting up nice and tall, happy spine, relaxed shoulders, breathe in through your nose. As you exhale slowly, deep breath out, blow the fire off the marshmallow. Again, deep breath in through your nose. Slowly exhale, blow that fire out. One more time, big inhale through your nose. Slow breath out, blow out that fire. Wonderful, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna do some sun salutations to warm up our body and get ready for our camping trip. So you wanna face the front of your mat or the front of the room that you're in. And we want to lift our arms up as we breathe in. And then we want to lean forward as we breathe out. Hang heavy here. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up to mountain pose. Exhale, hands together in front of you. Nice job, let's do it one more time. Inhale, lift up all the way, tall mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up, reach up. And then exhale, hands together. Nice job, so let's think about some animals and things in nature that we might see on a camping trip. So if you've ever been camping, you might know this. If you've never been camping, maybe you don't know yet, but you'll get an idea of what it would be like through our yoga experience. So on a camping trip, depending on where you are, you might see mountains. Let's all get into mountain pose. Reach your arms up, bring your hands together and pop over your head. Press your feet into the mat. They're right under your hips. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, drop your shoulders away from your ears. All right, then bring your hands down. All right, then the next pose. Something that we might get to see at nighttime might be the moon. We get a really good view of it because we're out in nature. So we're gonna lift our arms up, bring our hands together. I'm gonna bring my hands together and interlace all of them except for my pointer fingers. Those are gonna stay up. And then I'm gonna gently lean to one side, keeping my fingers together, keeping both feet on the mat. Breathe in to lift up, breathe out, switch sides, crescent moon pose. Breathe in, lift up, and then bring your hands down. Now stepping to the front of your mat, something else you might see out in nature when you're camping is a deer. So let's take one foot back, my front leg is going to bend, knee over ankle, back leg stays straight and strong, I'm going to turn my hips face forward, lift my arms up, so I'm going to be a deer, I'm going to grow some antlers. So my arms become my antlers. Really press into your front foot. Take a deep breath in. And a slow, relaxing breath out. Now we're gonna go into warrior three because something else we might see camping would be birds. You can do lots of bird watching, listen for the sounds of birds. So I'm gonna press into my front foot, turn my back foot up so now it's on my toes in the back. And now I'm gonna lean forward. My hands are leaning and reaching forward. And I'm gonna lift my back leg up for warrior three pose. Bring my arms out to the sides and flapping my bird wings. Focus on one spot on the floor so you can keep your balance. And don't hold your breath here. Breathing helps you balance. For three, two, one. Step that foot back down towards the other one. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna come over to the other side of my mat. So now step the opposite foot back. Bending your front knee, knee over ankle, back leg straight and strong, hips face my front knee that's bent, and I'm gonna grow some antlers for deer pose. Warrior one, take a deep breath in, slow breath out. And now turn your back toes up, so it'll help you get into warrior three. You wanna lean forward, reach your hands forward, and then lift off your back leg, trying to reach it up high. And then you can bring your arms out to the sides and flap your bird wings. 
That's an extra challenge to your balance. You don't have to flap if you don't want to. Try to focus on one spot and use your breath to help you for three, two, one. Set your foot down. Awesome. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is called bears in the forest. We're going to switch between two yoga poses. So we're going to go from one end of our mat, since it's called bears in the forest, we're going to do tree pose. For tree pose, we press one foot into the mat, take our other knee and bend it out to the side. Now our foot, the heel of my foot is resting on my ankle. I can also slide it up for an extra challenge if I want, below my knee, or pull it up above my knee. I don't want to press it on my knee though, that's not good for my knee. So I'm going to go from tree pose to bear, which is going to be our downward dog, and we're going to do some bear walk. So we're going to walk our hands and feet together to the other side of our mat, bear walk to the other side, and then do tree pose on the opposite leg. Okay, so bears in the forest. Ready? Stand at one edge of your mat. Get into your tree pose. Take a deep breath in. Take a breath out. Get on down, downward dog, bear walk to the other end of your mat. And then turn to face forward, get into tree pose. Hold it for one breath. Back to bear pose, we're gonna do one more each side. Let's do it a little quicker this time, ready? Go, bear, crawl, get into tree. One breath. Back to bear crawl. Three on the other side, one big breath. Nice. Come back to the center of your mat or your space. And let's get into frog pose. So something else you might see while camping, frogs. Let's turn our feet out so our heels come in. Our legs are spread nice and wide and we're gonna squat down, bending our knees, bringing your elbows to the insides of your knees so you can help push them out. I like to press my hands together in front of my chest, lift up my spine, happy spine. And if you want to, you can add some frog jumps. So this just means we're gonna gently straighten out our legs a little bit as we hop up and come back down slow. Inhale, hop up, exhale, come down slow. Inhale, frog, hop up, exhale, slowly lower. One more. Nice, okay. Now let's come into raccoon pose, which is Hira's pose in yoga. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Look, we just bend our knees and we sit right over our heels. So when you do this, it's not, it's not a very challenging pose, but it's a really good stretch. Notice right now where you feel the stretch. Hmm. Pay attention to your body. I feel the stretch in my ankles, the front of my ankles, which rarely get stretched. So it feels really good to stretch them. Notice if you can feel that too. The fronts of your legs, shins, and ankles. Now to make this raccoon pose, let's take our hands, touch our pointer finger and thumbs together, right? So we're making like okay hands, and bring those over your eyes for raccoon pose. Take a big breath in. Slow, relaxing breath out. This is a nice little rest pose before we keep going. Now something else we might see while we're camping is lots of rocks. Let's do a quick child's pose, a really nice relaxing stretch for our back. We're actually gonna have our knees together in this child's pose. And our hands are gonna come down by our feet. You're gonna bring your forehead down to the mat. In your rock pose, I want you to focus on taking some smooth, long breaths. One more big breath. Let it out, slowly come up. Oh, something else we might see while we're camping is bugs, all different kinds of bugs. For bug pose, we're gonna come lay down on our backs, Bend our knees and bring our knees up towards our chest. And then flex our feet and bring them up like they're gonna stomp on the ceiling, okay? And then take your arms, bringing your elbows kind of inside of your knees, and then grab the outsides of your foot, each foot, okay? So our 
our knees are down like towards our armpits and our feet are flexed like they're stomping on the ceiling. So you look like a, a bug. And then we're just gonna rock from side to side, really gentle rocking. Feel like a little massage on your back. Your spine is nice and long. Very happy right now. All right, still your bug, let it come to a stop. And then the last thing we might see if we're lucky while we're camping is a waterfall. So go ahead and reach your feet up now. You're straightening your legs, reach your feet up towards the ceiling. And we're just gonna do waterfall legs for a couple breaths. It's okay if your knees are bent. Big breath in, picture, imagine the sounds of a waterfall the sight of a beautiful waterfall. And then hug your knees into your chest and let's rock and roll to get back up. So gently rock forward and back on your spine, forward and back until you can pop up. Okay, now some activities we might do while we're camping. We just focused on animals and things we might see in nature. Now we have to focus on some of those activities we might do while we're camping. Well, first, before we do anything, we're going to have to build a tent for later. So let's get into triangle toes for building a tent. Bring your feet out wide, and then pick one side you want to start on first. So I'm going to pick this side. I'm going to let my toes come now towards the edge of my mat. Bring my back foot back a little bit. Arms out. Then I'm going to reach forward past my front toes leaning forward until I can now drop this hand down to rest it on the front of my leg, lift my back arm up. We're in triangle pose, which kind of looks like a tent. So pitch your tent, go ahead and get it fastened into the ground on this side. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly lift up and let's just switch sides. So let's turn the opposite foot now in and then the other foot to be the front foot. Reach your arms out, one in front, one in back, really lengthening your arms. Then lean forward as much as you can. And then when you can't lean forward anymore, drop that front hand down, reach the other one up. So pitch your tent on this side, get it dug into the ground. Make sure it's not gonna blow away. Take a deep breath in and out. Slowly come up, hop your feet together and come on down to the mat. Another activity we might do on this camping trip is canoeing right, or kayaking. So let's go into boat pose. We're going to sit on our sit bones on our bottom and then bend our knees. We want to make our spine nice and happy. Lift it up, shoulders down and back, and then lift up one foot. So now my, my leg is straight here. And then lift up the other foot and point your toes or flex them. If you can, lift your arms up. And imagine you're canoeing, paddling that boat. Feel your tummy start to get really tight. Feel it working hard. Pull it in, pull your belly button in for three, two, one. Nice, set your feet down. Turn so that you can get really, you can spread your legs out and make them really long on your mat. And it's okay if they're closer together. And it's also okay if you have a bend in your knees. It's whatever is comfortable for your body. So we might go hiking on this trip. And let's also go biking on this trip. But in order to do that, we need to make sure we're going in the right direction. So we need to use our compass, okay? Reach your arms out in front of you. And then take them over to one leg. We'll start with this leg. This will be our west leg. So reach your hands to the west side. Like this is your compass. So you're reaching for your foot. If you can't touch your foot, that's okay. You can touch the top of your leg. Breathe in, happy spine. Breathe out, relax and feel the stretch. Notice where you feel it. I feel my whole leg stretching. All right, now switch your positioning to north. Reach your arms out in front of you. You can drop your fingertips down if you want to. Stretching north, feel where you, your body now changes to a different kind of stretch. Now I feel it in a different place. Now reach your arms up and then bring them over to the east side. Reaching for the other foot now, feeling your stretch in that leg. Breathe in, breathe out. And last, just that northeast 
Now let's come up south. Big, tall stretch. Breathe in. Breathe out. Set your hands down and bring your legs together. Nice job. All right. I think we should also do some swimming on this trip. All that kayaking and hiking and biking got me tired and hot. So let's go swimming. Let's come onto our bellies. And then with your legs reaching back, zip your legs together. And then reach your arms out in front of you. And on a big breath in, we're going to lift our arms and legs up, but our tummies will stay on the mat. Ready? Big breath in, lift your arms and legs up, and then swim. So you want to just take turns lifting and lowering hand and foot. Go, go, go. Swim. For five, four, feel your back getting really strong. Three. Two, one, take a quick rest. All right, slowly come to push up. One of my favorite things to do while camping is to look up at the stars. So let's do our star pose for some stargazing. We're gonna add a little balance challenge to this, ready? So you can have your arms and legs out long. This is star pose, we're like five points of a star. Now for the balance challenge, we're going to twinkle, which means we're going to lift up one foot and lean over on the other one. And then set that foot down, lift up the other one. So going back and forth is like a twinkling star in the sky. Now when I say stop, I want you to hold that one foot up in the air to try to balance. Okay, and then I'll say go, you can keep twinkling. Okay, ready? Shake your arms out, get them ready. Okay, star pose, ready? Twinkle. You can even hum, twinkle, twinkle, little star if you want to. Stop, hold that balance. Okay, go, keep twinkling. Stop, hold your balance. All right, keep twinkling. Twinkle those fingers too, get them working. Stop, nice job. Keep going, twinkle, twinkle. Stop, hold it, hold it, and set it down. Nice job. My body works hard on that one. Okay, let's come on down to our mats. We're gonna make a fire, and this is a good stretch for our legs and our hips. So we're gonna take one foot and flex that foot and bring that leg out so that it's kind of matching like the side of my mat, the long side. Okay. I'm going to take my other leg and stack it right on top of that one. So now my legs should look like stacked fire logs, just like this. Okay. I'm going to flex both my feet. This helps keep my knees safe so they don't hurt. So now I've stacked my fire logs. I'm ready to make a fire. Go ahead and rub your hands together. Feel that warmth. Create that warmth. And then let your hands press down on your legs. Breathe in. Lift up. Breathe out, maybe lean forward a little bit so you can feel the stretch a little bit deeper. Keep taking smooth breaths. Lift up, and let's do the opposite stack now. So now I'm gonna bring my other foot down on the bottom and stack the other leg on top. And you might notice it feels a little different on one side. I might need to move my foot back a little closer to me so it doesn't hurt on this side. It shouldn't feel painful. A good stretch is what we want to feel. But if it feels painful, we need to make a change. Make a change for our body. Rub your hands together. Create that warmth. Then set your hands down on your leg. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, lean forward gently. But you still have a long spine. You can even walk your hands out in front of you. Okay, come to sit back up. Get into regular easy pose. We're gonna get ready to do our final rest. We've had a long day of seeing lots of things in nature, lots of activities while we were camping. And now let's come down to rest. So as if you were kind of like a fire, right?
right? The flames of the fire can start out really big and tall, and then they slowly get smaller and smaller until the fire dies out. I want you to do that with me, and then when your fire dies out, I want you to go lay down on your mat. It's time to rest. Find some stillness. I'm going to stay sitting up so that I can talk us through our, our rest pose, but I want you to come lay down on your mat, flat on your back with your arms and legs out. Some really nice, comfortable rest pose. So get your arms ready to be your fire, and then wave them side to side like the flames are working really hard, and then the fire starting to die out. Bring those arms down lower and lower until the flames totally die out. And then come to lay down on your back. Let your arms relax. Let your legs relax. Let your body just feel really heavy. You work all your muscles really hard. You want to give them a chance to rest. So imagine your yoga mat or your area that you're laying down on the floor is now your sleeping bag in your tent. So you're in your cozy campsite. If you feel comfortable, try closing your eyes. See if you can listen for the sounds around you. Listen for the slow crackling of the fire that was just outside of your camp, camping tent. Take a deep breath in. Smell the scent of the pine trees in the forest. And a slow breath out. Another deep breath in, smell the smell of those trees. And as you breathe out, do it a slow exhale, like you're imagining you're blowing out that hot roasted marshmallow again. Keep doing that a couple more times. Breathing in, smelling the pine trees. Breathing out, blowing out, and cooling down your marshmallow. One more time. Smell the pine trees, blow out the marshmallow. And imagine that you're looking up at a sparkly nighttime sky. Let your breath just return to normal. Let your body be totally relaxed. Remember that you can use your imagination to go anywhere, anytime, to have fun, to feel peaceful, whatever you need. Take your thumbs and gently trace them along each finger. So we're just bringing some mindful awareness back to our fingers and that feeling of that sense of touch. And then start to bring any movement back into your body. Maybe you want to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you want to stretch your body in a long body stretch. And then roll over to one side. And slowly come up to join me in easy pose. Awesome, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed our little yoga camping adventure. Let's close our class and take your hands, rub them together. Place them over your head, repeat after me. May I have peace in my thoughts. Rub them together again and place them on your chin, repeat after me. May I have peace in my words. Rub them together again. Place them on your heart. Repeat after me. May I have peace in my heart. Bring them together in front of you and together we say Namaste. See you next time boys and girls.